guys what's up what's new it's your girl star and i'm back again with another reaction video so if you're new to this channel for the very first time please feel welcome you're awesome fabulous and amazing and i love and appreciate you guys so so very much so today we'll be reacting to blonde girl stun muslim so let's dive right in I've done the seven day free trial of the Quran app and it exceeded all my expectations brothers and sisters you can build a habit with the Quran by seven day free trial bonuses is no credit card details required at all and you decide for yourself is it overrated or is it underrated assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh brothers and sisters and dear friends imagine you're on instagram and you just randomly come across this video now what would your first impression be so just let's have a good look at this yeah okay so this sister may Allah bless her you see her and once you see her what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Now, I'll be very frank and very honest. When I see this video, or if I wasn't not to play it, there's a lot of things that would come to my mind. For example, I would have think, and I am just have to be honest here, I would have think that it's, it's just a, a non-Muslim girl. Um, she might be someone who does, I don't know, fitness. Uh, she might be someone that's talking about, um, you know, cryptocurrency maybe, I don't know, yeah? Um, <laughs> uh, she might be someone that goes clubbing on the weekend. Uh, she might be someone that's just into having fun in life. Uh, YOLO, you, live, um, you only live once. Um, so we generalize a lot. And a lot of people does do this with us Muslims as well. Now, let's see what this video was actually about. Because this shows us a massive, massive lesson. Let's watch that video and let's come back and learn some key lessons, inshallah. So I think the number one most important thing is you put the intention out there. So like for me, I have the intention I will not go to bed, rest or relax unless I do my five for the day because I really, truly don't think I deserve to lay my head down and go to sleep unless I've given the creator the time that he is deserved and owed, to be honest. So set your intention because if you don't have that intention, you're never going to do it. Make your plans around prayer. So like I am common and you have to know the prayer times to do that. So download an Adhan app, get familiar with the prayer times. And when you go to make plans, for example, like if you're going to hang out with your friends, wait until Isha that goes off. Pray your Isha, you go have fun for the rest of the night. You don't have to worry about it. And I think like another really important tip is just get off your phone. Put your phone down. Stop distracting yourself because these distractions are going to do us in. <laughs> okay. So if you haven't prayed yet, get off your phone. And go do your salat. So guys, as you saw for yourself, like when I even showed that to my wife and I said, looking at this video, like, you know, this girl, what comes to your mind? She was like, you know, maybe someone that likes to have fun, outgoing party, someone that's a party girl, etc. And I was like, wow, like, you know, we generalize. And I did this before in Speaker's Corner as well. Sadly, you know, it's not something that we want to do, but it's just, you know, maybe we're just conditioned or whatever it may be. Okay. I saw a, a um, sister, for example, because I was giving Dao leafless house, etc. So I saw a sister with blonde hair, etc. Standing there and I thought, let me give it to her. And then the brother came and said, oh, she's a Muslim. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like the thing is, yeah, obviously, it, I'm not to blame because I'm giving Dao material. Do you get it? And I'm looking at, like to me, anyone that has a beard or looks like a bit of a Muslim. Like, there's, you can't really say it's, there's a specific person that looks like a Muslim. Of course, you have the symbols, etc. But isn't it amazing that's so beautiful and heartwarming that Muslims all over the world, especially in the West, a lot of women are flocking to Islam. Yeah, a lot of women are flocking to Islam. Alhamdulillah, because Islam gives the rights of a woman in the right way and honors her. So this sister, when she was speaking and she was talking about, I do my five a day and I'm thinking five a day. I'm thinking, OK, you know, apple, oranges, make sure she has a five a day. And then <clears throat> when I saw it and she was talking about prayer, I was like, damn. Well, like, like subhanallah like firstly i was so happy secondly it made me realize you know what ali don't ever think or judge people and think you know what this person is not well why you guys do not know if we saw that sister walking down the road or some brothers they'll be looking and thinking oh she's probably like this or like that she's probably one of these girls you know nothing about it and that's why it's so important to not to have negative assumptions. Allah says in the Quran that even negative assumptions can be a sin. We should assume the best. Who would have thought that this is a sister who prays her salah five times a day and she's given a reminder that we should all pray our salah? Who would have thought that? Who would have thought that? None of us. 
Do not ever judge a sister who wears a hijab or doesn't wear the hijab. You do not know their affairs. The same with a brother. A brother who might be dressed up in a certain way, has an earring, whatever it may be, we should never judge. And this is what this exactly taught me. And it was such a beautiful thing to see that Muslims come from in different shapes and different colors. And alhamdulillah, and what really stood out to me is that her dedication to her salah. We have, don't forget guys, we do have people, individuals, who may observe the hijab or the niqab but don't pray salah. So it's very important for us, and I'm not belittling that, oh, we should not wear the hijab. No, we should do that also as well. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy on this river sister. Inshallah, one day she'll wear the hijab as well. But salah is so key in her life that she has acknowledged it. Brothers and sisters, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. I found it beautiful. How did you find it? And what was your first impressions? Uh, maybe maybe, maybe, not, it's, maybe best not to share maybe first impressions, but hope you learned a lesson uh, as much as I did. And may Allah bless her. Please, I'm going to send this video to her as well. May Allah keep you firm, sister. My dear sister, may Allah bless you with the best in this life and hereafter. And keep you uh, going, inshallah, with these amazing reminders. And keep firm to your salah. You're going to have your ups and downs. I'm going to go. Till next time, brothers and sisters, inshallah. Let's not judge anybody based on how they look, whatever, however, they, however they look, um, and whatever the appearance they, may, they may be. Because they might be more close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than you and me. Well, that actually rhymed. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wow, that was amazing. And he's so right. Do not judge. I said, the word of God said, judge not unless you be judged. Right? Who are, who are us to judge anyone? Because when I first look at her on the video, that's what came to mind. I'm like, that's another party girl. That's another mm, girl that likes to go out, have fun. And she's actually right even in the video when she said uh, the phone computers etc can be distraction from praying to God reading God word and having quality time with God she is definitely right about that and uh, so sometimes these distractions are distractions of the enemy to prevent us from having a close relationship with God and I'm so glad that this video highlights that because even friends certain friends that we have sometimes are our friends that will lead us astray right and the enemy will always plot using these kind of persons in our life. So we should also be careful of that. And it is so right. Do not judge a book by its cover. Right? Indeed, this was so amazing. Do not judge a book by its cover. Because I was definitely not expecting this. And so so was um this guy. He was not expecting this either. Right? And... Uh, and he is right also because many of us judge be judging this girl right now and she's even more closer to God than we are. More prayerful to God more than we are right now. So it is very mandatory. It's very important to have a relationship with God. To have a close relationship with God. To read his word. To dwell in his presence. Right? Any distraction of the enemy right now we should try to not let the enemy win right the battle is already won all we have to do is walk in peace walk in love walk in humility right read the word of god love one another as god has loved us even when we have sinned and fall short of his glory he still loves us right and i i'm so i'm so amazed and even he said that many women are drawn drawn to islam right and it is so true because since i've been watching these videos and reacting to them it's like it is like i'm feeling so much at peace right now i i feel so peaceful right i feel like i'm walking more in humility than I was before just watching these videos but I'm very grateful and I'm very thankful to to um, able to reach upon this video to learn and to be encouraged about the Word of God and spending time with God and praying to God I'm so grateful anyway guys we come to the end of this reaction video I'm so at peace right now <laughs> And I'm very thankful to God for that. 
Anyway, we come to the end of another reaction video. If you're new to this channel for the very first time, please feel welcome. You're awesome, amazing, fabulous, and I appreciate you so, so very much. Anyway, guys, let love lead the way. See you in another reaction video. Bye. I wish I had a time